Definition. Good afternoon. I'm John Paul. We're following some breaking news right now. Dozens of birds are being seized from a nonprofit organization. News Center 7's Una Lee is live in Moraine showing us what is going on right now. Una. Well, I want to show you what's going on behind me. We are talking about a wide range of birds, from small birds to parrots to macaws. You can see the Humane Society is here. The operation's so large, they needed several vehicles, including a U-Haul truck. Workers here are taking the crates into the organization to rescue these birds. Now, Wings Over Rainbow is the organization, a nonprofit organization. Ironic that these birds are actually being rescued from a bird rescue. The Humane Society of the United States though were called in by the local Humane Society of Greater uh, Dayton chapter here and also by law enforcement. They're all working together on this operation right now. Now uh, the organization expects by the end of the day more than 100 birds will be taken. The Humane Society tells us that uh, Wings Over the Rainbow has not taken well care of these birds. And the organization Wings Over the Rainbow Board of Directors members tells us that there are more than 100 birds inside including about a dozen that were being boarded by wings over the rainbow. Those birds with owners will get their pets back. Now here's what the board of director has to say about this bird rescue. It's very unfortunate, though, that these parents have to go through this. I don't doubt that the people that they have handling them have some bird experience. That's not what I'm worried about. Um, in terms of the people here, what I'm worried about is the stress on the birds. And she also says that uh, she hopes n uh, none of the birds will die from the stress that they are going to uh, endure during this process. But uh, what the Humane Society of uh, the United States has to say, we'll share with you on uh, today at the news at 5 and get the latest update on this operation and this rescue. Reporting live for now, though, in Moraine, Una Lee, News Center 7. A farmer in Yellow Springs.